What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex. I'm back here with yet another video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, the Miami Dolphins take a W 20 to 3 against the New Orleans Saints. It might the score might change because the game's still on, but I'm done watching it. Okay, it's already damn near midnight. Well, not even near midnight, but it's like 45 minutes from midnight. I gotta go to sleep soon. I have a dinner appointment in the morning, all type of shit. I can't really be up all night watching these bum ass Saints. Now I'm just playing. But listen, the Saints, they're not good. Uh the Ian Book, he wasn't good. This is his first game. It's fine, you know what I'm saying? He, he went up against the wrong team tonight, okay? Uh, Bruh. I, I just want to say I'm proud of the Dolphins. Even though we were supposed to really win this game, uh, we, we weren't really supposed to win it this this decidingly. And also, I wasn't quite sure with, uh, you know, it's at Superdome. And we've lost games we were supposed to win before. So, I am proud of us for actually showing up and dominating a team that we're supposed to dominate. Well, I, I don't know if we were supposed to dominate them like this, but we dominated them, okay? And the biggest play of the game to me was the Nick Needham pick six at the beginning of the game. That pretty much sealed the deal because, again, this was the game where all we really had to do was score like 14 points. Ian Book was not going to score on us. I already knew that. So all I needed our offense to do was score like 14 points. Our offense couldn't score 14 points. But since our defense did score, it made it easier, I guess. But Ian Book is who is who we thought he was. You know, he just – it was his first start. This is not the team – that you really want to be making your first start against the Miami Dolphins. Again, Ian Book might have potential. Who knows? I'm not going to say he's trash already, even though he looked trash. It's just you ran up against the wrong team, brother. And that's just what happens, okay, uh, in prime time. It, it was just too much pressure on the young man's shoulders, and he just folded, and like like expected. Um, now, our offense still is pretty suspect, if you ask me. Our offense is not really that good. Uh, Tua, 19 for 26, 198 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He did not play bad. He did not play super good. But, I mean, he didn't really have to. He wasn't really caught on to do anything super insane, considering we, we were dominating the whole game. We had, you know, like nobody, we wasn't asking Tua to do too much this game. Uh, so, he did enough to win, and we did enough to win. So, that, there's your Tua report for the night, because I know, it, you know, it's, it's always, like, that's the main thing we want to talk about. What did Tua do? All right, well, Tua did okay. He did good enough to win, and again, if called for to do more, I think he would have. He threw one interception that was really fucking bad, and then after that, he responded by leading a touchdown drive. So when I look at shit, stuff like that, I don't know why Tua always has to throw that one pass where you look at it and be like, yo, what are you doing? And then he'll just like lock in and then end up playing pretty well afterwards. But it's always that one, we have to eliminate that one pass where it's just like, yo, what are you doing? And then there was another bad pass to Miles Gaskin where he, he got Miles Gaskin killed. But other than that, Tua looked pretty solid, played pretty well. So, uh, overall, we got the win. Tua played good. Uh, he's probably be critical on himself, but I think he played pretty okay. Um, Duke Johnson, uh, again, we, we looked at the game last week last week against the Jets and thought maybe Duke Johnson was better than what he was. But we, we honestly know what Duke Johnson is. He's not he's not all that, you know what I'm saying? But he's not bad. He played pretty I mean, but, again, he's not all that. Just put it that way. And the Saints play a lot better defense than the Jets, needless to say. So, our running game didn't really get to go in this game. Which is fine. You know, 13 carries for Duke Johnson. 13 carries for uh, Philip Ga uh, Lindsay. It's crazy how Miles Gaskin is, like, not even existent now. So, we have two running backs pretty much leading the way that weren't even on our roster at the beginning of the season. That's pretty insane. But uh, they look pretty good, okay, the running game. You know, I didn't really expect to be able to run on the Saints. Our offensive line looked kind of putrid for most of the night. But they, they made, you know, we did enough to win the game, okay? Ian Book is terrible. And, again, we've kind of got came to this conclusion that our defense is going to have to win this games. And so that's what happened tonight. And it's probably going to happen next week. And it's probably going to happen, happen the week after that. Again, I said, like I said in the preview, I don't see no offensive explosion happening anytime soon with this team. That's the reality. I don't see a shootout happening in which we win. You know what I'm saying? It's just the reality of it, okay? If we're having a shootout with a team, we're in bad shape, okay? Uh, not saying we can't win it, but our chances of winning are very, 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 very low because uh, we just can't score. We can't keep up scoring-wise offensively. But... In this game, you know, we're going up against a guy like Ian Book, who threw two interceptions, 135 yards. I mean, listen, we're, we don't have to shoot out there. You know, and we did a good job of containing uh, Alvin Kamara. That was pretty much the key to the victory, and we did everything how, you know, perfectly and won the game. We are now looking like, you know what I'm saying, in the driver's seat really to make the playoffs, okay? Next week, we have a game against Tannehill and the uh, Titans. That should be very, very interesting. Uh, other than that, uh, we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty – I'm, I'm still – I got the Waddle jersey on, y'all see – I'm, I'm concerned, obviously, every week still. I think I was overly concerned about this game just because it was in the Superdome, but we were way better than them. We were way more talented than them. We we just outperformed the hell out of them. 
Next week at Tennessee is going to be very, very interesting. But I think we're we're better than them. Tannehill is a fucking he has Tannehill is Tannehill. I know he he got the rest of the world duped. I'm not I'm not scared in the slightest of Ryan Tannehill. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, but as far as this game goes, we just did play pretty well. Um, and even Ian Book, like a lot of his yards came after the game was already over. He threw like a streak and Byron Jones got lobbed and it was like 50, 60 yards. I mean, the game was already over. Who cares? Um, they really just, the Saints really didn't even really make this watchable much. Honestly, uh, the, like every time I would blink, the Miami Dolphins would have the ball again. I mean, it was three and out after three and out. I mean, they just, they, they sucked, you know, um, and then maybe that's a reasonable thing because they had Ian Book, but I mean, they just sucked. They didn't even look. They didn't even look decent. Matt Collins had the one catch for 40 yards, which was a huge catch. Um, Jalen Waddle, 10 catches, 92 yards, a touchdown. Jalen Waddle is like, he's a, he gets the ball a lot in our offense. We like feed him the ball a lot. It's like tunnel Tim. Durham Smythe had three catches. You know, he gets a lot of them on the bootleg. Mike Zeki, three catches. Tommy Lee Lewis uh, was in the game at the beginning. He got injured, but he had one catch. Miles Gaskin had a catch. Tua did fun. Tua did take a lot of hits this game, including one that he kind of imposed on himself when he tried to truck a. <laughs> I don't know if he got so confident because everybody was hyping him up for trucking that other. Uh, that Bruh. safety, but he tried to truck somebody else to get a first down today. It did not end well for him. So I, I don't know if Tua needs to stop trying to truck people, but uh, he did fumble one time in the pocket. Uh, and he did take a lot of hits this game. Got about it every one of them. Still healthy, but yeah, he can't take hits like that all the time. And, I mean, our offensive line got him killed sometimes in there, but some of the hits he could have avoided. So, uh, let's see if there's anything else to really speak. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I've seen a lot of Jalen Phillips today. Maybe he was creating some pressure, but like, as far as getting to the, did Jalen Phillips even play? I guess he did. Did he play? I'm going to lie. The fact that I don't know if he played or not is like, a, a, is just an indictment. Like I, he did, he wasn't really doing. He wasn't really active today. But, I mean, everybody else was. Jerome Baker had a sack and a half. Ian Book, I guess he don't know who Jerome Baker is. He kept trying to outrun the sack. You can't outrun Jerome Baker. Uh, Holland had half a sack. Agba had two sacks. We're going to have to pay him. Um, Brandon Jones had a sack. I mean, it was just a very, very bad day for a rookie. I don't. I, I would feel bad for any rookie that had to go up against us. But other than that, yeah, it was. I mean, it was a good game. Uh, Christian Christian Wilkins got into uh, Kamara's head early. Uh if you're, if you're just nitpicking to try to find something bad with the game, you would say our offense is still lethargic and they're sleepy and they still kind of suck. But other than that, I mean, we were able to get the win. Um, I'm only going to really complain about our offense when it actually costs us a game, which if I'm being honest, I think it might. If anything is going to cost us a game, it's going to be our offense um, because they just – I don't think they're capable. If we ever play a team that scores 28 points, I, I don't have no confidence in our offense to score 28 points. I have no confidence. So, our defense have to keep on uh, doing what they're doing. But, yeah, from the Noah pick six, I kind of knew we was going to win this game. Uh, it would have been a lot closer if we don't score on defense because, you know, we have to depend on all our offense. But anytime we get a seven points from our defense, uh, we should not lose to an Ian Book-led team. So, uh, that was a big play. Let me see if Cameron Jordan did anything. Cameron Jordan, he, he was getting some pressures. He had two sacks. We kind of expected that. It's kind of built in a couple sacks right there with our offensive line being as trash as they are. It's kind of built in that the that the that, that guy like Cameron Jones is gonna get two sacks, but we were able to overcome it. Um, again, Tua has one, Tua had one of those picks where he's like he throws it and you just like question it, but other than that, he played pretty good. And overall, the Miami Dolphins got the victory. So now we move on to Tennessee. Get in the comments, let me know what you guys think. It's a very very exciting time to be a Dolphins fan. Like, comment, subscribe, with the eleven candles, but complacent. Am I out? Yeah, I'm out.